uh, you can see. Uh, let me hit the chat button. I don't know what is up. Awesome, Brett. Yeah, we should be good to go now. I'm going to uh, mute my laptop. And it's really, what in the world? Uh, Jay, uh, that's, uh, I can answer that here in a minute. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll answer that. It's kind of odd. I'm, I just loaded my video and it's playing a Carl's Mystery Tackle Box commercial and I just got this sweet MTV Pro shirt in. So, uh, does that mean I'm a pro? Uh, I will tell you guys, I'm going to be helping up uh, Mystery Tackle Box this year. Uh, you see me do some unboxings, but I'm going to be doing some other videos and stuff. And uh, also, uh, they got a new company, Catch Co. And... Uh, Got some really cool baits. I'm going to show you one of those baits here in just a minute. It's called the Trash Master Jig, and it's pretty unique. And uh, they got a baby bull shad uh, available for pre order. Uh, if so, if you go to Shop Carl's, it's going to be a Catch Co exclusive. And I kind of know a little bit about this baby bull shad. Um, the baby bull shad was designed by Mike Book. It's the first one he's ever done, it's a non resin bait. Uh, it's going to be retail for more of the regular consumer uh, instead of just that high-end swim bait guys. Uh, and it's it's got to be Buka approved, and he approved these prototypes. And I'm really happy for him, but it's going to be exclusive to Catch Co. Let's see. I'm going to start answering a few questions before we get in tonight, and then I'm going to share this on Facebook. Make sure you guys hit that like button for me. Facebook or uh, YouTube is really uh, promoting stuff that gets a lot of likes right now. I uploaded a, a video, um, and uh, it had a, 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 ba a Bass Boat video. It's got like 50,000 views. I never would have thought it got more than 5,000 views. But um, let me uh, make a little post on Facebook here, and I'll get to get to answer some questions, do some Q&A tonight, and show you all some cool things. Uh, I saw my buddy Scott Schwacker in here uh, with Hog Farmer Bait Company. He's an awesome dude. So you guys get on hogfarmerbaits.com. Y'all need anything from him, he'll uh, he'll get you taken care of. Tell me you want that Baitman Special A-Rig. Whew, my wife's spaghetti. Barking on me now. get this going here oh. all right i'm about ready on youtube here i'm gonna pop the chat out uh i can just read this a whole lot easier when the chat's popped up all right uh let me go back here and i'm gonna start answering a few questions for a little bit uh uh, as always, if you want to donate to the stream, you hit that dollar sign, uh, donate. Uh, it's, if, you, if you want to make sure your question gets answered, uh, use that. 99 cents, it don't matter, man. I, I appreciate everything. Uh, it helps me get money for the giveaways and all kinds of stuff. And we're fixing to hit 10,000 subscribers. So uh, I'm really excited about that. And we'll do a huge giveaway. Um, Let's see here. What's the deal with no boat bait, man? So I bought a boat when I was 22 uh, years old. I bought a brand new showroom for 07 ZX225 Skeeter. And it was awesome. And, and then life happens. I uh, got married, had kids, and I wasn't using my boat at the time. I actually got burned out on fishing really bad. Um, so I got into bow fishing really hard. And... Uh, I sold my bass boat, and a part of that also, I didn't have a job at the time. Uh, I was working for Pradco Outdoor Brands and got laid off. Uh, just the economy. Uh, I was doing video stuff for them. Uh, got laid off. So I had a brand new truck, brand new boat. Got a kid on the way, got married, and I sold my bass boat. And honestly, I haven't really regretted it because I, you know, my fishing partner and I fished so much, and 90% of the time we fished out of his boat. And, uh, you know, if I had to do it again, man, I'd do it. 
Dude, I appreciate you, Chris. As always, man. Dude, guys, Chris got, I shipped his stuff off, literally a box like this big of giveaway stuff. So 10,000 subs. When I hit 10,000 subs, we're going to do a giant giveaway. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get about $400 of stuff for a 10,000 sub giveaway. So uh, I might do a little swim bait uh, giveaway this week on Instagram and Facebook. So y'all want to make sure you follow me on that social media. But that's why I don't have a boat. I loved it. Uh, I'm just not financially ready for a boat right now. I've got, you know, two kids and wife and everything. And a boat's a big investment, man. And uh, I would rather spend that extra money on something else. But, you know, if this YouTube thing takes off, I'll do like my guy Ben Milliken. I'll get me a brand new Phoenix boat once I get to where I feel comfortable spending that kind of money. Um, so that's the story on no boat. But trust me, I'll be on the water plenty this year. I may go tomorrow. Not sure. But, uh I'm going to keep answering some questions here. What's up, Dustin Taylor, my buddy? Okay, who sent in an emergency order of windows? That's good. Uh, short, Long story short, somebody did order 400 windows last week, so we got a lot of stuff to do. Dude, got that 2080. I, I, I loved getting a Vexus 2080. I, I know the 1980 rode really good. You know, it's kind of crazy, all them comments on YouTube. Uh, uh, yeah, I did maybe clickbait it a little bit, but... I really feel like for the money, uh, you can get into a Vexus at a pretty good price. Now, you know, guys are like, well, I built one and it was $40,000. Well, if you put all the best high-end stuff on there, uh, it'll get that. Come to Newton Lake, Illinois. I'll take you around. Uh, I can do that, Mitchell. I got a buddy that lives close there. And, and uh, my friend Tristan, and you're going to start seeing Tristan on the channel quite a bit. Uh, he helps me out. Great kid. He is going to McKendry College on a bass fishing uh, scholarship. So... Yeah, Trash Master is awesome. I'm fixing up to show you guys that. Yeah, a uh, Six Sense box is awesome. I love both boxes, MTB and Six Sense. Uh, you know what you're getting with Six Sense. Uh, very quality. MTB, a little bit more surprise, but they're going to have some cooler stuff coming out this year. So, um, you know, if you can afford it, go both. If not, uh, choose one, one's best for you as a fisherman. Um, but that Bateman box, Casey emailed me, said... Just a few weeks here into February, the Bateman box will be ready. Really excited. I'm hoping he brings that new color, the Jank Sauce. The Jank Sauce coming to Six Cents Baits. And I think you guys know what that's going to be. So, all right. Hey, Kevin, did you watch the BBT and see half the field were FLW boys? Yes, I did. Uh, and I think that's great because uh, a lot of people dog on FLW. Talk about the competition isn't the good. There are some absolute hammers in FLW, and they're still there. Um, I really like the Bass Pro Tour. I uh, wish I could uh, see more. Monty McWilliams, thank you, bro. I really appreciate you. Uh, you're a you're a good dude, Monty. And if I remember right, you're from uh, same hometown uh, as my parents. So I hope everything's good. Dyersburg and Halls, Tennessee. I can't wait to get back there. Uh, visit my uncle. He lives out in uh, uh, Almo. If you know where that's at. I'm trying to warm my hands up if you're wondering what I'm doing. It's a little cold in the bait room. Can you get the Baitman box as a one-time deal or subscription only? I think you'll be able to do it for a one-time. Uh, if you like it, awesome subscribe. If not, you know, I'm actually not getting no money from that. And it's something I've been wanting to do. Casey stepped up to the place. Hey, man, you take care of me on a few baits. We'll get this Baitman box. I want to help you grow your company. Uh, I just like six cents. And that's as transparent as I can get. And he said, hey, man, I got you. I said, I work with a lot of companies. I don't want to be too partial. He said, dude, you're awesome. Uh, let, let's make this happen. So I'm I'm really happy uh, to work with Six Cents. They've been really good to me. And they have a sale on their hats around 10 bucks for lids. Now, not this one, but 10 bucks for Six Cents hat. Pretty nice. I'll catch up on these. Have I ever fished a Shimano Zodius rod? I had a 17 medium heavy. It was an awesome worm rod. I threw a spinner bait on it and I threw a swim bait on it, you know, just like a bass tricks uh, on a swim bait head. Nothing heavier than half ounce. Really like that rod. Really like it. Where did you come up with the term janked? Never heard that before. I will tell you in just a minute. Well, let me ask, answer some more. 
Heck yeah, well, uh, I'll take you up on that, man. We'll, we'll, I'll bring the GoPro. Uh, I don't fish south into Kentucky, but if you can show me some, some something down there, I'd love to do it, and we'll have fun. Uh, just hit me up in my DMs on Instagram or something. I'll get you my cell phone number. What do you think of... I like dropping the F-bomb on a live feed. Personally, I don't think much of the guy. All right, so my personal experience with Mike Iaconelli has been awesome. He's been very good to me. Uh, he's a great businessman. Uh, he's a good dude. Now, saying that, you got to remember, bass fishing, it's not just 30, 40-year-old people watching this on Major League Fishing. Uh, there are kids and young adults, you know, or young young teenagers watching. I personally don't want my son watching stuff where people are dropping F-bombs and stuff like that. Have our cuss in front of me? Absolutely. Uh, but there's a time and a place. Uh, I don't. I know Mike's very passionate as an angler. We all get caught up in the moment. Um, I could see Major League Fishing doing something like, you know, if you're on camera, you know, it's a two-minute penalty. And, uh, you know, we all lose our cool sometimes, so I'm not going to fault I can alley with that. But you got to remember the audience, you know, we're broadcasting to all the time. It's, uh, man, this light's just freaking smoking me. Turn it down. The audience we, we have in fishing, not everybody is uh, mature enough to handle those words and, and can understand it. Um, hey, I'm telling you, I catch a lot of fish and I cuss with the best of them sometimes, but. I'm also not being filmed uh, for, you know, Major League Fishing. But I think Ike's a good dude. He, he's also an awesome fisherman. So it is what it is. Um, let's see. Six Cents Box, February, buddy. Jay, what was your question? Repeat that. Uh, can we pre-order that box? I don't think so yet. I think Casey's going to work on getting that done the next week or so. Took your advice on to die with tattoos. Thanks. Bought eight today. Now get them set just right. Dude, I love the tattoos. I got one above me somewhere. Uh, it's, you know, I've been Shimano guy for a long time, and man, the, the tattoos are just awesome. Yeah, Hog Farmer uh, rig with Chartreuse Blades, Frank. I got one in my hand here somewhere. Uh, you tell Scott, you email him, and tell him you want these Chartreuse Blades. I don't even know where mine went. I got so much junk in here. I need to clean the bait room out. I love to go to Toledo Bend. Heck yeah. I am thinking about jumping in that as a co-angler, Frank. You know, if Kane or Kyle's fishing, I'd love to be in the back of their boat. So where did I come up with the term jaints? Uh, so actually, I didn't come up with it. Uh, long story short, I was on Facebook scrolling one night, and somebody posted a picture of a bass, and they misspelled about half the words, and it said, I didn't get any largemouth today, but I did catch a couple giant spotted bass, and they were trying to put giant, and long story short, they misspelled it, and they weren't even spotted bass, these were like 10 inch largemouth, and I just started dying laughing. And me and some friends started joking when we were catching fish. Boy, look at that jank. And it just kind of kind of exploded from there. So I'm not going to mention the guy's name. Um, but I didn't. that wasn't my original. This was about four years ago. So me and his circle friends, we just kind of joked about it. And we'd, we'd hook one and go, oh, dang, look at jank. If y'all hear running water, it's because my washer and dryer is right behind the bait room. And my wife is washing my clothes right now. Um. Uh, Let's see, Jason Beck, I'll check out that unboxing, buddy. Let's see, my brother's at Malcolm Creek. This we can do that's just right down the road. All right, Jason Cornell, I just looked at the Z-Man jackhammers today. Is it just me? Is the three eighths more like a quarter? Uh, well, this is uh, a half. So on a jackhammer, they put the size on the bottom. Um, sorry my nail looks gross. I uh, smashed my hand at work. But, uh, long story short, this is a half. It's actually got a lot smaller profile than many half, ounce, many half ounce bladed jigs. This is the one I had on the other night. So, that's why it might look a little small. I personally, uh, the 3 8 is just a tad bit smaller than this, but it's just the way they designed the bait. Uh, the three quarter is pretty big and the one ounce is massive, but don't be scared about that three eighths. It's a perfect size. I wish I had one here. Uh, let's see. 
Overall thoughts on the BPT coverage? Awesome. They did a good job. That is a hog farmer spunk shed uh, on the back of this. Uh, if you look at my live video from last Sunday, I talked about these quite a bit. Heck, I'll bring them back out. I, I, uh, it's basically a Kitek style bait uh, is the spunk shed, but uh, it's got this little bitty tail. So this is great on a scrounger, on the back of a, a spinner bait. Heck, I'll throw one on the back of a spinner bait. So this is that, uh, Y'all see the East Tennessee Fishing Expo. Um, this is a spot sticker shad head spinner bait. It's kind of a purple glimmer color. If I was gonna thread this thing on here, you know, I might actually trim this just a little bit. Matter of fact, I will. So what I'm gonna do before I put this on spinner bait is I'm gonna cut the, the little, the nub off the head. So I get a nice flat piece. And this spinner bait is already, if you notice the skirt's already flared out really well. And then I will just slide this guy, put my hook right down the middle here, thread this thing down here. And the cool thing, spot sticker does have a trailer keeper on it. So now, I have a really cool looking spinner bait trailer. And of course you can turn it whichever way you want. So that's that hog farmer spunk shed. And you get those on the hog farmer website. I think they're like six bucks a pack. There's like 10 in a pack. Uh, this color is actually called Blue Gizzard. It's the four and a half inch one. And you can see there, it back on that chatter bait. Dude, it looks wicked. So obviously it was actually designed for a scrounger head. And uh, you can actually put this thing on a little net head too. So dude, I'm liking that right there. I am liking this spinner bait with that spunk shed on the bottle. That's wicked. So, little demo there for you. All right, let's see here. Uh, I don't fish Wren Lake. Oh, let's see, Philip Jones. Baxter, what, in your opinion, what is the best discontinued bait out there? Wow, that's a really tough one. I'm gonna say between uh, the Striking Wake Shad and the Lucky Craft jointed weight bait are really tough i'm gonna get to a uh, james Torres question right now he is uh j or j negron my question was the whole deal with the dirty jigs and their spinner baits and luke going to z-man and dirty jigs never came out with another spinner bait. so i talked to kurt uh at dirty jigs it was like last week good guy we talk about all kinds of stuff and i say hey, kurt i need some of those spinner baits he said i can get you some personal ones and uh, he said, but the deal is they are on the back burner. They're not gone away, discontinued, but uh, it's just something that's on the back burner. And if you had any of the originals, you're gonna have some for a while. It might be a year or two before they're coming back. He is, Kurt's uh, Dirty Jigs has tremendous growth and his bread and butter is the jigs. And he got so many companies that pre-ordered spinner baits after the initial run, I think there's only like two or three places that had any. And you know, uh, of course the website I was running then, we, we had a ton. And I never even got one for myself. I let everybody have them. So, um, if you got one, hang on to it. Uh, let's see. So that's the uh, Dirty Jig Spinner, but they will come back out. It may be a while. All right, I'm gonna keep answering questions. Man, wondering, what is your thoughts on the Mega Bass 110 sign? I got one to go to Tyser. If it's Mega Bass, it's good. I love the 110. I just got a couple of them myself. I was a little low. Y'all know I had to get that Table Rock SP. And then I got one of my other favorites, H H HT Ito Wakazaki. So, in my opinion, this is the best high-end jerk bread out there. Don't want to spend that much money? Go with the Six Cents Provoke. Uh, 106 awesome bait and I actually kind of like six cents colors just as good as these mega bass But they don't offer this color yet and uh, That's that uh, let's see I do like the silent version Let's see. What was the deal with the Thunder Crickets from Strike King? Um, I think there was a little patent thing going on there. So uh, That's all I know uh, I think you'll see the Thunder Cricket come out at the Classic. Have you fished any Beast Coast swim baits? Yes, I have fished the Miyagi. I like it quite a bit. I've got the new one here I'm fixing to show you guys. 
what is the trailer on the giant camera? We went through that. Blah, blah, blah. Gunnersville, Chickamauga, or Kentucky Lake? I would go to Chickamauga. I'm going to keep going here. Keep going here. St. Crest. Appreciate the man. Evergreen Tungsten Jackhammer. Uh, it looks pretty slick. No, I have not. Um, I definitely will get some. I mean, I love the Jackhammer. And I'll tell you guys right now that I know they're $16.99 a piece. But there's something special about this guy right here. And a lot of it has to do with the blade to head connection. Uh, the hook is premium. I know guys said, well, you're just paying $8 for a hook. Yes and no, but uh, I, I don't know why, but this head design uh, and hook, it just works. So when you throw it out there, it just starts it just starts vibrating automatically. And that's the one thing about a vibrating jig. You talk to Brett Height, Brent Ayler, uh, guys that are really good with it. Even Gerald Swindle was one of the first guys I ever knew through it. will tell you that, dude, the whole secret of that thing is when you stop it and you start it, it, it keeps vibrating. Um, and that's nothing against any other guy's base. Picasso makes a really good one. The original Phoenix bladed jig is really good. Uh, Strike King Rage Blade, I've actually caught several fish on that. That's pretty good. Um, so, but that jackhammer, something about it, it's, it, it, the way it shimmies comes through the water, but that instant engagement with the blade is awesome. So I can't wait to throw the big heavy ones this year. I got some areas I really want to play that. Um, I'm saying I appreciate that. And, uh, Man, when we get that tungsten jackhammer, you know I'm going to put put it up on here. So, yeah, that jackhammer, it's just like a, it's like a, t it's it's not a knock. It's kind of like a, almost a, if you've ever, it comes through grass, you know, crawfish scurrying through grass, they key in on that. So, which TVA lake in May? I would go, uh, I would go Gunnersville, May. I would used to say Kentucky Lake, but. We gotta see what the carp's gonna do. They caught them pretty good this weekend. Rearrange thirty by Jackal, great bait. Uh, it's better on a fast, fast retrieve, uh, and it will scare you when you load this thing back out there and throw it, and it hits the back. It will click, and you'll think a gun went off, but it's awesome. So, that was a great question by Philip Jones. I, I totally forgot the the original Vixen, the Paycheck Repo Man. Uh, man. Uh, those are some discontinued baits I'd love to get. But good news for you guys. I've talked to Hideki, who owns Tech Allures. He owns the mold for the Vixen. Uh, that's where they come from. He's bringing it back. So Tech is going to have a walking bait. Check it out around ICAST. Uh, it's going to be the same bait as the OG Vixen uh, Repo Man. All right, what does TVA mean? Tennessee Valley Authority uh, was established for flood control here in the south. And uh, so anything on the Tennessee River, we call TVA lakes. Go to Six Cents Bait. Um, right now, Quake 70. And, I mean, I got it right here. Tiger Truce. See if I can find it. This is my go-to Six Cents Bait. And we're going to put it in the Bait Man box, I think. I caught a lot of jaints on that thing last year. So that's one of my favorite baits from Six Cents. i also tell you... Uh, and I don't have any here. Well, uh, their swim jig is really good. Oh, man. I'm having a hard time reaching. Um, but right now, my go-to is that Quake. As it gets up later in the year, I'm getting into the square bills and stuff. I really like the Provoke as well. Which would you pick? Mega Bass, Ice Slide, 185, or Gancraft? What color would you get for Kentucky Lake? I would go with the Gancraft 178. Anything shad pattern. Uh, go over to Fisherman's Headquarters and draft them. They got a, a, a U.S. only game craft that's awesome. And I've been wanting to grab it, but I haven't. Hello, Big Daddy's Jack Fishing. Yeah, dude, that jackhammer is, it. that skirt holds up really well. Is there any place to find your custom color KVD 1.5 square bit anymore? Yes, uh, Brandon's Bass Shop, I found those Googling yesterday, has the Purple Freak Show and the 1.5 and 2.5. Uh, I imagine if I wanted to, I could probably get a hold of some. My beard is like going insane. It's bothering me, so I ain't smoking no crack tonight, guys, just to let you know. I laid off last week. Uh, what are the thoughts on the new Mega Bass 110 Plus 2? Well, Joe, I've got one right here. 
I think I showed it to you guys. So, I don't have a plus one, so I'm going just normal 110 uh, to the other, the plus two. Haven't got to throw it, and this is something I want to get better at as anglers fishing these deeper jerk baits. So there's the plus uh, two. See that real long bill? Now, they make a racing Type R in Japan, uh, and a lot of guys think this is the same one. It's not. This was built to actually get down to 10, 12 feet, and you and jerk it. Uh, whereas the one in Japan is more of like a, it does this kind of number. It's made for like slow rolling or this is going to, you actually can twitch it back and forth and it darts down there in that 10, 12 feet of water. Yeah. The jackhammer skirt, it's hand tied. I, I can show it to you, uh, real quick if you can see here, but if you see there's no band, it is hand tied. So great question. So uh, I don't know if you can see in the package, but there's that 110 plus two. Look at the bill compared to a normal one much much bigger longer uh, you have any tips for a highland reservoir fishing in april uh april is a great time i would throw a jig just to be honest with you jig is good in april and a jerk bait clear water jerk baits and small swim mates dominate you know something like a real small key tech i just up all that video of brad knight he talks about putting a finesse swim bait with the rage swimmer you can use uh, any type of those Kitek style baits, that same technique he's talking about, the braid to fluorocarbon is a great deal. So make sure y'all check that video. It doesn't have a lot of views yet. So I'm going to be uploading several videos that are just only a minute and a half to four minutes long with these pros. And those will just be the bait men's bait tips. I'm not going to be in them. I'm not going to put my social media in there. Just stuff for you guys. I get to hang out with uh, the pros and stuff. I do throw the Quake 70 on Kentucky Lake. Uh... I like Tiger Truce. Uh, dude, those reds work great in the spring here on these TVA lakes. Uh, if you find me on Instagram, my profile picture, that was my first bass ever caught on a Quake 70. It's about my fifth cast. The next week, uh, caught a really good sack in a tournament. Had a chance to win. Everything was on that Quake 70. So, The Mega Bass 110s come standard with the treble hooks to have a barb on it. Uh, yes, sir. And you can buy replacement hooks. Um, I know guys that put those on their square bills as well, but if you're going to replace those Mega Bass hooks, get that Gamakatsu G Finesse or the owner Zowire. That's that lighter, heavy duty stuff. If you try to put EWG hooks on a 110 or, or some of those bronze hooks, it, it, it messes the action up. I don't know the whole uh, MLF schedule. Help sell an argument. Is a diesel pickup truck overkill for Tonga Bass boat? No. And my theory is if you got them, smoke them. If you got them, smoke them. That's what I'm saying. If you got all the money in the world, why not? If you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, Monty, uh, that's Spot Sticker Baits. Uh, his name's Ryan Coleman. Uh, he's out of Lanier, Georgia. Uh, go to spotsticker.com. I'm just telling the bait man since you. He'll know, he'll know who you are. Uh, Jerky Jail and Jack Hammer. Yeah, you could put that small one back there. That would be really good. Uh, let's see. Who makes those barb out trebles uh, work better over regular trebles? Well, I think when it comes to fish swiping at, at a jerk bait, that barb out sticks them a little bit better. Uh, no problem, Justin. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, St. Crest. Uh, I try really hard. I'm not the best at uploading consistently, but I'm trying to get two to three videos a week. This will be the fourth video this week. Um, Sam Lashley for an instructional guy. Sam's a great guy. Uh, you let him know you watch me on youtube and i recommend him um he's a good dude uh he's helped me out quite a bit and uh i really like sam he's an awesome fisherman too um what's the best type of baits for this time of year uh, personally uh i'm a hard bait guy uh, unless i'm fishing the florida lakes you'll notice those guys are throwing lots of soft plastics they're punching mats throwing bladed jigs here until the water warms up i'm gonna be an a rig small swim bait jerk bait and try to get some kind of a square bill flat side bite on pretty um i'm going to do a beginner's bait video tomorrow i'm going to film a video here in the bait room i might go out i might actually go out to the lake uh you know best five beginning spring baits that guys that you, you guys need to use so i have tried trapper hooks uh personally didn't care for them i feel like anytime you shorten that hook gap that's never a good thing do you think a fast or moderate heavy taper is better for heavy punching? Uh, you know, I don't do a lot of punching. 
Uh, Ish Monroe is really good at it. So if Ish says, you know, do a moderate taper, I'd go with him. Uh, him and Randall Tharp are awesome at that. You know, uh, that's a great idea, ST Outdoors. Actually, what I was thinking about doing was get see if I can get a webcam and start doing watch the final day MLF commentary with the bait man, you know, split screen me in there, uh, watch major league fishing, uh, and do a live commentary. I think it would be pretty cool if you guys would watch and I could break down the, the baits they're using and stuff with this warm front front thing going on. Kentucky Lake, what are you throwing first? I will throw an a rig, uh, cause it is still dang cold out there. It takes that water oil just a little bit to warm up. So I'll do that and I'll throw me a deep jerk and uh, and try to get that going. Because, man, I can only throw an A-Rig so long. Fish a 6-cent flat side square bay today on face. That's all other that's 75X. How long have I been doing YouTube? Uh, actually, three years, but I didn't upload for like two years. Uh, I've been doing videography and stuff since I've been about 18. And uh, I'm hoping... To really expand with some new equipment and some stuff this year and uh, put some dope vids together. I fish Kentucky Lake, I fish Lake Egypt, uh, the rivers, uh, Gibson County Lake, and my favorite is Lake X, location undisclosed. And uh, hope to get some new places, maybe head to Carroll County Lake and do some more stuff up north in Illinois, Newton, Coffin Lake, stuff like that. All right. When the dive rods say they have regular taper, does that mean it's a moderate taper? Uh, it's make more like a moderate fast. Um, moderate fast is what I would put is a, a on the taper. I love my Tatula Elites, by the way. They're awesome, and you know that's nothing against the sticks rods I use, but dial was really good. Now I like those sticks for ninety nine ninety nine. They're good rods, man. Uh, I've actually used mine several times, and I'm really impressed by them. Um, that utility rod, that seven foot, it's like a moderate, you know, fast action. It, you can do so much with it. Heck yeah, man. I got a lot, I got a lot of people that, uh, in Illinois and I need to come up there and do some fishing with you guys. You need to do my own Lost Lake series, man. Uh, I did that Lost Lake TV show and I loved it. Uh, Terry Bolton did the pilot. We did that on, believe it or not, we did that on Lake Egypt. He had never fished Lake Egypt before. And uh, he whacked him. That's first, one of the first times I've seen a swim jig whip on him pretty good. Uh, Kyle, yes, you can. I think almost every tackle store here on Kentucky Lake has uh, the canine fishing line. That is uh, for sure. Um, have you heard of custom painters named Long Creek from Lake Barkley? I have not. I have not. Lake X is not private, but it's not public. It's a buddy of mine's lake. And... Uh, um, Kind of an invite-only deal. I won't even say that. It's just, it's not open to the public. Sam Lashley told me to throw an A-Rig when I ran to him last night. Tried on Carroll County, 1,000 Acre Lake today. It was rough. How, I would like to know how many much bait is in that lake. Because I think the lakes with more bait fish, the A-Rig gets a whole lot better. That's just me. Egypt is a good lake. What do you think about the digital control on the Corrados? Uh, I got to test the DC reel, put it in my hands before a lot of people did. Uh, if you look up a video where I catch jaints on swim baits, I'm actually using a DC Corrado in that video quite a bit, and I just edited out the hum, and it handles fish well. Now, saying that, if I'm going to spend over $250 on a Shimano, I'm buying the Bantam MGL. That is the baddest reel I've put in my hands in a long time. And I love my Daiwas, but that Bantam MGL is solid. It's stout and smooth. And for heavy-duty power fishing, that is it. Dude, if you got five or six mutts, you could sell them, and you could get like five you know, brand-new rods and reels. Uh, just depends. Are they valuable to you? If they are, never sell them. Uh, I've got some lures here that are worth quite a bit, but I won't sell them because they're more valuable to me. And some that aren't worth anything, but I will never sell them because uh, they're val they're really valuable to me. But let's see. Do you see Davy Head catch three on one cast on a rig on Zone Live? Did not. Would you fish a veterans tournament in October on Red? Sure. If uh, someone's got a boat. Uh, for me, uh, 22nd, 23rd this month, Dustin. Yeah. Uh, 
message me on uh, Facebook and I'll come up there one day. Uh, not a long drive and I'll definitely go fishing out of the back of your boat, man. I'd, uh, I'd really appreciate that. How fast was the 18 foot Vex? It's, I made a comment that says 60 to 63, but I really think we did about 56 to 58. That boat rides really good. I, I think a lot of people making that comment about the rough ride, they don't understand. I'm filming with the DSLR camera, so you have to hold it like this. And any little bump that camera sees, even in really smooth water, once we actually, the lake was actually pretty rough. We got out in some three, four foot uh, rollers. Uh, I kind of put the camera down. I just couldn't, there's no way in, uh, any boat rides rough like that. But overall, it was a good riding boat. Uh, you don't feel the bumps, even though it's aluminum. You know, you hear that tick, 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 tick. Didn't really get that too much in that boat. Uh, the seats were super comfortable too. So let's see. How do you get bites when there are thousands of half dead shad floating everywhere? Wow, that is a great question. That is something I've got to figure out. I like to fish a suspended jerk bait below those dead shad because you think those bass are feeding. Those dead shad are starting to fall. So I actually want to get below them a little bit. Do the Asian carp invade the flooded bushes? Yeah, they do. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of bow fishing vids this year, and you're going to see a lot of Asian carp in there, unfortunately. What do you think of those new Six Sense frogs coming? Uh, dude, it's, they're going to be sick, I believe. They're going to be sick. What do you think about Lou's BB1 Speed Spool Reel? Uh, awesome reel. And Wisconsin, uh, ooh, excuse me, it is, uh, one of the best reels they ever made. I've got some original ones that were made by Shimano for Lou's, and they still work really good. Can you come fish in Wisconsin? Man, I'd love to get on that good frog bite up there. Uh, we'll see what my work schedule does. Right now, you know, I'm off Friday, Saturday, not going into Sunday night, but they can throw overtime at me anytime. Crankbait Crisis. I love that name, man. That's dope. What kind of hooks do they put in on a Six Sense Frog? Um... I'm the wrong guy to ask. I don't do the bait development, but if I know Philip over there, he'll put the best available frog hook you can get. Uh, which mutt is the one to have? Any of the fold mutts are really good. I like the E1 and the E2. Um, that's a really good one. Any thoughts on Doomsday Soft Plastics? Yeah, I have not thrown them, but they look really good, and that Sea Shad looks really awesome. I actually think you could put that on a scrounger and make it work. What's your favorite available barely legal Vixen size? Um, well, I don't think there's really anything available in the BLV size, but I would go with the Sammy 100, maybe. Let's see. Have you ever would consider collaborating with a fellow tuber? Absolutely. I'm going to do some stuff with Bass Quest. Me and Alex Rudd are going to get together. I did collaborate with uh, Fluke Master Gene Jensen, on Lake X, I bet we caught 150 fish that day. Um, but uh, and that was last year, and that's on my channel in jeans. Uh, but hopefully, do some of that. Maybe talk to Ben Milliken. Now he's got a big old boat. I guess I'm gonna have to go fishing out of it. Have not tried the six gill cyclone. I want a bait man box too. Trust me, you guys will be the first to know about it as soon as it's available. Do you use Sunline Assassin for reaction baits or Sniper for finesse baits? I use the Assassin for almost everything. I do use the Canine Fluorocarbon uh, quite a bit on a trap. And my other trick is I'll use P-Line CXX on a, a rattle trap quite a bit. If I feel like those fish are really hitting it on the fall, I use that P-Line because I tend to set the hook on them a little bit uh, when I feel them hit it on the fall. And I've busted some fluorocarbon, so I really like that CXX uh, P-Line. It's old school, but dude, in a tournament, a lot of times, when I hook them on a trap, I get them to the boat. I try not to play them, and I, and I don't have to worry about that P-Line breaking on me. Uh, and the sunlight's always been good. I haven't had too many break-offs, but uh, honestly, sometimes just whatever I feel like putting on that day. If I want that trap to fall a little slower, I definitely go with monofilament. Um yeah, the packaging's pretty big. Even for retail, it's kind of hard for guys. What's up, Jesse? Jesse, the kayak queen. That's the that's the person who needs a YouTube channel. Y'all need to get Jesse start filming. She's awesome, and she, she hooked up fishing in the last few years, and she is loving that kayak fishing. She, maybe I can get me a boat, 
and she can show me them honey holes over on Lake Barkley. Let's see here. Uh, good replacement for the Cordell suspending spot. That's a good question. What braid do you like for frogs? I just use 65 pound. Um, um, bro. Fun fact. Supporters have failed. Trump supporters have failed America. Okay, man. That's cool. Are you sure that's fact? You might want to check your facts, bro. Hey, why don't you pick a Bass Fantasy team and share it with? That's a that's a good idea. Maybe I will do that. I need. I, I really want to get into some fantasy fishing stuff. You know, some um stuff. All right. Fun fact. I hate to tell you, buddy. I'm glad you're subscribed to the channel, but uh, I don't do politics on here, so we're gonna put you in timeout. Boom. I just bought a Depths 250 in lavender batch silver sides. Will it work in Kentucky Lake? Absolutely. That Depths 250 will work on Kentucky Lake. Right there. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do politics, guys. If you pay, if I, I, look, if PayPal, you like 100 bucks, would you bill me a custom Kevin Bateman? Man, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I think the Bateman box I'm billing with six cents is going to be half that price and be just as good man uh and dude i'll be honest with you i'm working so much i do good to mail the baits baked out suffix braid's great brent anderson back he's a funny dude brent is a great great guy the six cents expanding the top water lineup outside the frog yes the mad dog is coming uh it's awesome uh, that's when you're really going to want didn't the guy from Reaction Innovation say there was a new Barely Legal coming summer? Yeah, he did. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that, but hopefully uh, that'll come out. Thanks, Chris. Uh, probably because I'm lazy and I work a full-time job and I have a family, so I don't have the time to dedicate to YouTube. So my hat is off to those guys that are riding the YouTube wave and can upload content every single day. Uh, Googans or Googans or whatever they are, uh, Millican Fishing, all those guys, dude, hats off to them. Um, they are killing it. So eventually, maybe we can grow this channel even more, and uh, maybe I can do this for a living. It's nice to go build windows and you know whatever, but uh, I like that insurance. And so my advice to guys, if you want to start a YouTube channel, get a real job first. And make sure you get one insurance. So if you fall uh, in the water with your GoPro, your arm, you'll be able to pay for your arm. So, have you? How you been? I liked your review on Spot Sticker baits. I'll check them out too. I've been great, man. Spot Sticker is awesome. Favorite jerk bait? I love the original. No longer made the same. RC STX Lucky Strike. So, uh, Mega Bass 110 and the Provoke 106. I really like. There's a big difference in price there. If you want, you know, the JDM Premium, and go with the Mega Bass. If you want to spend less money, uh, the six cents is a little wider, a little shorter, not as narrow as the the Mega Bass, but you're getting really good paint jobs and at half the price. I haven't got a PL box. I do have a mailing address. Um, I just don't want to give that out public. Um, if there's a way you can send me, contact me on Instagram or something like that. Uh, it's at Baxter the Bait Man. I'll send you my address. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Six cents going to come out with any more topwater baits other than the frog? I think so. Uh, the dogma is uh, bigger than the bar barely legal. I'll be honest. Yes, Zyman, you can uh, contact me on you know, Baxter the Bait Man at gmail.com. Um, so here's the deal. The the one I like is the big size Vixen. I don't like the, the barely legal one. Um, I know everybody wants that, but I really like that big one. It's louder, moves way more uh, water. The Dogma is a great bait. I think I just got knocked off YouTube here. What the heck? I do throw the Mike Buka Bullshad quite a bit. Uh, I throw it shallow mostly. I do have a very special bull shad 4x4 out here. Sorry for asking you. My phone is lagging. I might have missed your answer. Have you fished up here in New Jersey? If so, what did you primarily lose? I did, Charlie. Uh, when the Bassmaster Classic was in New Jersey, I got to... 
the stream is lagging. And uh, I did fish a little bit there in New Jersey, but nothing crazy. I would love to start traveling and fishing more. So let me know if you guys can still get me here. It kicked me off here for a second. I've got to show you these baits, though. Hit that like button for me. What bait on Lake Hartwell in early March? I shouldn't have to tell you. Get that underspin, baby. Underspin, jerk bait. So I'm going to show you guys this really quickly. I think I tried to show you this the other night and I couldn't find them. This is the Tackle HD Crawl. So look at this thing. Look how realistic that is. I can't remember if I showed y'all or not. East Tennessee Fishing. Uh, they have a website, east10fishing.com. You can get some sweet hats. So this right here is uh, the most realistic crawfish bait I have ever seen. And you can't see it on this camera I've got. But it even has the dimples on the pinchers and everything. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, I'd love to get up there. We can do some fishing sometime. But the bottom of this thing, whoo, it just looks so sexy. And they got some awesome colors. And their website is uh, tacklehd.com. And you can also buy them on Amazon as well. And they got a special little jig head for it. Like this right here. And it's got these two wire weed guards. And this knot is protected here. Did you ever do a giveaway on Instagram? Uh, I did not last week. I did not. Sorry, it's lagging. I'm. I got good internet. Um, my son's probably playing Fortnite and just slowing this thing up. He, he won't get off that thing. I like. I have to get on Fortnite and show him how good I am, so he'll get off. But do that tackle HD crawl. That thing just looked sick. Imagine hopping this on the bottom. Imagine throwing this on a bed and bass. Love the hel Helgramites. Yeah, man. Uh, I got some right here. So this is also their uh, their Helgramite. Go feed them cows, man. Thanks for joining Outdoor Adventures. Uh, we're going to stream again next week as always. Now let me let you guys know. Do y'all want Saturday Night Live or do y'all want Tackle Tuesday or do you want both? I like doing Saturday Night Live. Because honestly, I think I'm funnier than most of those guys anyway. But uh, check that out. That is the Helgramite. Uh, imagine that on a shaky head. I'm thinking Carolina rig or a split shot rig in shallow water. Oh, yeah. But that thing looks really good. And they got their own little shaky head that goes with it. Super cool, guys. I'm going to go throw those this week. And I'm actually going to do a review on these Tackle HD baits. So... Speaking of new baits, let's talk about swim baits. Check this out. This is from Beast Coast Fishing, one of my favorite upcoming companies. This is the Creep 6.5. So my first thought was, man, this thing is pretty similar to the Babe. Similar to the Babe. But it's quite a bit different. It's a lot narrower. It's thinner in the bottom. Different plastic. Got a pretty decent smell, yeah. It's not too bad. I think this is the color of the Alex Rudd design. Uh, but what's cool about this bait, it's got this pocket right here. And it's meant uh, to be used uh, with an owner, Beast Hook, dot Weedless. So I really like this. Feels like it's got a pretty durable plastic. Look at that. I can ball it up and it just pops right back out. It's not made of Z-Man material. I ball it up, come right back. So really, really like that. What's up, Zach? On them midnights, boy, I know how that is. Thanks for joining in, brother. I appreciate it. So that's, uh, they call this color Pro Pearl. So really like this one right here. You can rig that up on that weedless hook. And then these guys at Beast Coast, they know me well. Look, look what these guys sent me. They sent me a little black and purple. And that right there is sexy. So those dark these dark colors, that muddy, stained water, you know, I'm going to throw that throw it at night. Uh, so I like the eyes on this bait, but it's got that hand pour feel to it. 
Uh, not as soft as the Bay, but a, definitely a good looking killer swim bait from Beast Coast. Goes great with that Miyagi. All right, I'm going to answer a few questions and I am going to drop off here for the night. Rick, that is a negative. Um, Alex needs a color called Bearded Wonder. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Did you see Alex dump his huge bag on chest? Apparently on a Batesmith mag trout. I, I've I've seen photos and that was pretty wicked, man. Uh, it takes a lot of balls to throw a big swim bait like that all day. Or you got to know you're on them. All right, guys. I'm fixing to jump off here. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, MTB Mystery Tackle Box and show you this game changer jig real quick before I get off here. So this is the game changer jig I posted on Instagram. Looks pretty cool, right? So what's cool about this jig is this trailer is attached um, to a screw lock right here. And you can take that and you can flip it any trailer you want to and you just rig it text post so you can put a rage crawl a speed crawl anything else uh you want on there and that is a pretty cool jig you can swim it you can flip it you can do all kinds of stuff and that is exclusive to the catch company on carl's uh shop carl's and I don't know if you guys know much about Shop Carl's, but you can buy a membership and do the prices. You can buy this stuff is God, is better than I could when I was a dealer. So, Helios is a good rod. Uh, Rick, what's the story with that? No comment. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna comment on that. Uh, long story short, didn't work out, and we go on. So, thanks again, Brian. I appreciate you joining in. Um, I'm gonna jump off here. I'm gonna go play some Fortnite or Call of Duty, and hang out with my little boy some more. That's uh, We enjoy that. And uh, again, thanks uh, to Mr. Tackle Box. Uh, can't wait to do some stuff. Hogfarmerbaits.com for the Spunk Shed. If you like this spinnerbait, spotsticker.com. And I'm definitely plugging some people. But uh, Baitman Box in February, I promise, guys, I'll have the first unboxing on YouTube, and y'all go get it from there. Barbie girl, she's in bed. So, hey guys, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to be uploading lots of videos this week. Uh, make sure you hit the like button on there and share them to your friends. I appreciate the guys that helped me out. I'm ready to go fishing, guys. I am so ready. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to upgrade the stream a little bit this week as well. Get get me get me a webcam and mic in here. So, thanks guys so much. You guys have a great evening. Go big orange and God bless every one of you.